Hi there, I'm Mike from Sword and Board Games, and today I was wondering if you were like me and didn't know how to view other people's scores and data on BGG, not in like a creepy way, just to like kind of compare your score with others, especially if you play solo. Like I'm not sure if if my score is good or not sometimes. For some games that don't have like that table that's like, oh, you scored really well, 300 is a really great score. A lot of games don't have that, so I'm not sure if I'm a good player or not compared to others. So uh, yeah, this feature is kind of hidden. And actually one day the designer of Merchants of the Dark Road, Brian, he messaged me because he noticed I logged a play and my score and the AI score was a little bit lower than normal. That was because I was playing scenario A5, which is like three rounds shorter or something. You play with one less die. So that ends up being like, I think three less rounds. So yeah, I had a lower score, Brian. Yeah, it's okay, but I didn't do anything wrong. It's just, it was a shorter game. But anyway, he, he was really helpful and he gave me a bunch of different forums and links um, for some common rules errors. And I thought that was super helpful. He just goes every night, looks at all the plays. That's my cat. Um, and sees if anyone might be doing something wrong and tries to help them out. And he loves data. He's always trying to see like how the average player plays. It's, you know, it's a lot of free play testing for him to look at this data. But yeah, it's kind of hidden. So I asked him, how the heck did you do that? And I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how, if you don't know how. It's kind of hidden, like I said. So choose a game, any game, my cat is now on my lap. Um, so I'm choosing Merchants just because, you know, Brian helped me out. I want to give his game a little bit more visibility. It's a great game. Don't listen to other people. It's amazing. Um, yeah, what was I doing? Yeah, so go to Stats. This works for any game. Um, go to Stats. You can choose either all time plays or this month's plays. I'll choose this month like I always do. It doesn't matter who you choose, but like this person played eight times this month. Um, then you go to everyone's plays for Merchants of the Dark Road. See, my cat is purring. Um, as you can see, these are all the plays for all the different months. Um, yeah, as you can see, there's one in 1997, which was an error somewhere. Uh, but you can see for this month, there were 505 plays. There were more last month, and then this is before it kind of came out. So this is like play testers and designer plays and whatnot. But yeah, let's see what's going on here. So as you can see, Zen Banana Slug has been playing on the Dice Tower Cruise, probably with This Is Conrad. Uh, yeah, so I, you can see how many players are playing, how many times they played this day in particular. There'll be different comments here usually. People can like, if they use the BG stats, they can do a tag on every single one of their plays automatically. So a lot of them have BG stats I was noticing. Um, yeah, so let's see here. Probably BG stats is gonna have more details. Yeah, so as you can see, these two people played and Vincent looks like he won with a score of 38. That That's about an average score I was noticing. Uh, yeah, but then I play solo usually, if you don't know. Um, so a lot of the times I'll look at those playing, see this is a player count column, who's playing solo. So it looks like H, ah, didn't use your full name because maybe you know people can view your info like this. Uh, so let's see if he gave his score. He got a score of 36, again, that's pretty average. I think I got a score of over 50 one time. <laughs> uh, yeah, one time. And never again. So I usually get about 36, sometimes 40. And then it looks like the private concern, which is the AI for this game, that's what you call it, uh, had a score of 29. Usually the private concern gets about 30. On my game, I had like a score of 19. And Brian was like, hey, what's up? Are you doing something wrong? I wasn't. But yeah, I, I just think it's awesome that he does that. Um, yeah, let's look through a little bit more. What else do we have here? Some people put like all their expansions. This is like the Kickstarter goodies this guy plays with. Um, uh, 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 Andy's house, BMK. Oh, let's see what's going on here with the tiebreaker. Oh, four player game. 
everyone did really well. <laughs> Looks like there's a tie with a tiebreaker. That's awesome. Looks like R1 with a tiebreaker. Played with patrons provisions again. But yeah, I mean, let's go through one more. I think you guys get the point though. Leo's place, played at home. I don't even think I put a location. Randolph's Phanasium. What's going on there? Three players. High score of 40, right? So usually, if you're going to get 40 or so, that's the person who's going to win. Is there another solo? Where's all my solo players at? They even put a player account. First run for familiarity and learning. Official solo rules used. Are you going to put a score? No. Okay, fine. Yeah, not everyone does, like I said. But oh, another dice tower cruise. Thin. 39 1. Yep. You want to usually try to get 39, 40 points to be able to win. Hey, it's Mike. <laughs> Mike Delicio. Okay, it makes sense you're playing on the dice tower cruise. <laughs> All right. I hope this video helped you. Um, share it if it did. Yeah, this is pretty much hidden information for me. I didn't know you could even do this. And, you know, maybe be a little bit more concerned about the info you give. Maybe don't give your address, don't give your full name. But as a solo player in games for like Feast for Odin, where tons of people play every month, it's kind of great to just kind of compare your scores. You can kind of make your own challenge, be the best solo player uh, each month. But yeah, like and subscribe. I hope you liked it. Share if you can. I'll see you next time.